Good morning. It is Aaron Day, and I am going to. I did a video when I never released it about my batteries, my dead batteries, and getting quotes and blah 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 blah. I even uploaded it. <laughs> I got it already, and I never posted it. Um, so. This is kind of an update video to that one, and if you didn't see that video, I'll link it up here, up here, wherever. Anyway, um, so I made the trek to all the solar, local solar um, vendors here in Quartzsite and got quotes for new solar, new lithium batteries, the whole nine yards. I don't need an inverter. Um, I already have that. But I do need a charge con new charge controller because mine is... My camper's a 2007, so... Um, it's pretty old. Um, it's probably not even made for lithium batteries, so... Who needs to put air in their airbags? I do, I do. So anyway, I went to all of the local solar places and got quotes. I was waving at Dawn's husband, one of the um, ladies that had the booth next to Deborah. Um, anyway, it's such a crowded town, but you see everybody you know all the time. It's so funny. Of course, it's not that big of a town. But anyway, so I am, I've decided which one I'm going to go to, and I'm going to go see if I can get an appointment to get my solar, new solar panels, because um, I only have an 80 watt on my roof. And I am going to get 400 watts on top. I won't have to use my foldable. So I only had 180 watts total, including my foldable, external, suitcase, solar panels. So I'll be able to take those to my off-grid cabin. So I'll have solar there. Um... But anyway, I'm going to go see if I can get an appointment, and then i got to go do laundry. Wow, the Chevron has free air. I'm going to air up my airbag. Wednesday morning. The last time I recorded was on Monday. I was going, you saw that clip just just now, about going into town and getting, seeing if I could get an appointment to get my solar done. Well, they had an appointment two days later, so I am headed back into town to get new solar. I'm going to remove my 80 watt panel and if all goes well, I'm going to have 400 watts on top. So, and, um, new batteries, the whole kit and caboodle. So, it's rain here. I need to figure out which way I'm going to go. Go this way. Got some puddles. Try not to go through. But, um, so today is all about new solar, new batteries, new charge controller. So they took the antenna off, the TV antenna, and then my old Wii Boost. They've already taken the solar panel off and um, drilled a pilot hole for the cables to go down. That's a 200 watt solar panel he's putting on. Hmm. 
this is a little heater. There is heat coming out of there. <laughs> How cool is that? It's just plugged into a 110 outlet. So solar is done. And now it's time for lunch. I'm hungry. So it only took um, two and a half hours. Which is pretty sweet. So I came to Coyote Fresh. And a lot of y'all know that at Co Coyote Fresh, they have a deli in the back and their fried chicken is so good and they didn't have very much they just fried some up but there was a big order right in front of me so i got two chicken legs and broccoli salad and one of the ladies in front of me said the broccoli salad was really good and i hadn't had it so we're gonna try that out and it's still busy here um for what is today? The seventh of February. Still busy. Let's eat. All right, I'm gonna try this broccoli salad. Mmm. It's got some raisins, some broccoli, some peanuts, onion, purple onions. That looks pretty good for some greens. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. That's kind of a sour, it's kind of a sweet and sour dressing on it. It's very good. Yeah, you can't go wrong with that. Raisins. Ask for a breast, but I don't think that's a breast. Looks like a back. They had two chicken legs, and that was it. Mm. I think that's the best chicken. Better than those big chains, I tell you. It is some good chicken. All right. Now I got to go put my house all back together. So I stopped and actually found a parking spot at the laundromat. And so I did laundry. And now I am at RV Lifestyles. Oh, I've noticed that I kind of have a little leak uh, coming out of my, I think it's a pop-off valve on my hot water heater. So I am going to see about just replacing the pop-off valve thingy. Uh, see if I can do that. So I need to get the specs off the hot water heater and go in here and see if I can get that valve. So, when the hot water heater um, pressures up, water drop drips Oof. from there. <laughs> it's like, what in the world is that? Anyway, but it drips from there. It's not dripping from here, it's dripping from up there. So, I'm going to see if I can get a new one of these and put that in. Okay, I got a new pop-off valve. Relief valve, that's what they're called. Relief valve. So, I'll put that in one of these days. <laughs> when I have nothing to do. So these are my new batteries. These are two 100 amp hour batteries in parallel. Aren't they pretty? 
pick up that compartment pretty good. So I just wanted to show you the couple of the apps um, that you use to monitor your batteries and your um, charge controller. I used to rely on, you can't see that very good, but I used to rely on that monitor there to um, read the voltage of my batteries. But now, our batteries are so smart these days. It is a Bluetooth connected to Bluetooth, and this is my batteries. If I click on that, it shows my battery is at 100%, and it is idle. So I don't have any current coming in um, that's 100%. And this is the system, so it's collectively both of my batteries. And this shows the individual batteries. So um, both of them are 100%. Yay! And as you can tell, it's 11.32 in the morning. And then... This app is my charge controller. And it looks like it says solar up here. Oops. It says solar up here, 63 watts. So I'm pulling in 63 watts here. Um, the state is absorption. And eventually this will go to float. And when it goes to float, that means that... Um, I'm taking in no more solar. And this is the solar voltage coming in and the current. This is the voltage of my battery, which is 14.58. You can get a history uh, and look at all the information, which if you want to look at graphs. And then you can even look at trends over here, looking at big graphs. And So I am in my bathroom, which... <laughs> usually don't show this view very often, but I can't wait to go fetch it. Anyway, so they installed two panels on my roof, two 200 watts. So I have a total of 400 watts on the roof. And um, this is the side the battery's on. So they came down um, right here. I'll show you. So this is like a little closet that I have in my bathroom. And that's a pretty good size closet. It's got three shelves. And they came down right there. And they just drilled a pilot hole from here up and then finished it from here down. So that's how they decided where to, to put the cable. So the cable goes down, 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 down down and then it goes into this little uh this little door comes off and so he was able to come down here and then fish it show you come out here so he was able to fish it down and it comes actually it comes over the fuse box and then goes down and then down it goes behind this where my shoes are and it goes over there and then it comes into this area and i will show you where my charge controllers are and my batteries i just did laundry so we gotta move that so this is the compartment it's my bench to my dinette and then this comes off I'm gonna need two hands, of, of course. And so this is the compartment where my steps slide in and out, the, the steps that go up into the bed. So this has to stay free. But there's all my wiring, and there is my new charge controller. It is an MPPT 150, and it's a Victron. So it fit there just perfectly. So there's the cable coming from the solar panels right here. This is the solar panels going up here. They put me in a fuse block right there. 
and then my battery box is right there. And I did this. This is, um, there it's my inverter. And the only thing I plug into that is a surge protector that comes up here. And that's how I charge all my devices. Right there. Pretty cool that it was able to go right there. Um, back in the day, I had a Wii Boost right there. So I, yesterday, I uninstalled the, took the Wii Boost out because I don't ever use it anymore. I took it out thinking maybe it might fit there, and it did. Yay. Mm -hmm.